All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and get started with tonight's webinar um, in partnership with ADP Payroll Services. I'm going to go ahead and introduce Mr. Steele Porter, um, who is our ADP rep. And you can go ahead and take it away. This is on a record, guys. So anybody that comes back to watch the replay, you guys will be able to um, catch the replay when it comes to this webinar. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and let you get started, Mr. Steele. I want to respect your time as well. All right, thank you, Ms. Dominique, appreciate it. Uh, good evening, y'all. Uh, those who showed today, thank you, appreciate your time. Uh, hopefully it's gonna be informative to you. Um, Ms. Dominique and Educated Minds recently joined a partnership with ADP. Um, so there's a lot of value we're trying to give to you guys in terms of just education, resources, and uh, things that are gonna elevate your business. Um, and also will help with some discounted rates as well. So. Diving into it, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about ADP and myself, and then we'll spend a good amount of time on payroll one-on-one, -on -one, who is payroll useful to, uh, you know, why would you consider it for your business, and then as well as we'll dive into some of the solutions we have for small business, especially for startups, you know, you're just getting going, um, and just what we can do for you, okay? And we'll talk about some other solutions for HR, benefits, and then if there's any questions at the end, we'll open it up. So a bit about me, um, I've been with ADP for a few years now. Uh, I've been working with Ms. Dominique the past few months. Um, I'm a centric district manager and diverse market specialist for ADP. Uh, all that really means is that I specialize in working with accountants and content creators and centers of influence like Ms. Dominique and Educated Minds. So here's my contact information. You can feel free to reach out. You'll see my info blasted on several things moving forward and you'll be able to reach me at any time. But the uh, very useful part of our partnership is that I am your representative. So if you are just curious and you want to learn, um, you know, I'll be able to help you start to finish. Uh, if you go through an implementation process with us to set up your account, I'll oversee that. I'll help at every step of the way. And even when you're running payroll, you're already a client of ours. I'll still be there. You can text me. So if you have things that you need help with questions you don't have to go to, to the 800 number every single time a bit about adp for those who don't know adp is the number one uh payroll services provider in the united states we pay one to six americans coming on one to five soon uh, we'll be reaching our millionth business client here um small business client this year Small business, I work specifically with under 50 employees. So like I said, I'm very familiar with startups, one, two, three employee businesses. I understand, uh, you know, every step is a big step and, you know, we got to be mindful of, you know, cash flow and decision making to start. So very familiar with your world. And like I said, I will be the direct point of contact, okay? All right. So kind of diving into the meat and potatoes of payroll and really who is for and why, you know, it's important. So I think a lot of you are probably single member LLCs. Um, maybe you're in a partnership, maybe you have multiple members, but, you know, you probably sole, sole proprietor, single member LLC. Um, so if you're not a corporation or S Corp that's required to do payroll, you might not be doing payroll at the moment. Um, however, you're, Industry is highly regulated, as I'm sure Ms. Dominique has made very clear to you all. So uh, having <laughs> right having a payroll system in place is going to be super important, right? Um, and we'll kind of dive into the nitty gritty of why that's so important. Just a little quick overview of the basic taxes. I'm not sure if this is already super familiar to you all or not, but I think it's good to just start at the, the bare basics and just understand what am I paying into? Um, so as an employer, you are responsible for paying, paying a FICA tax. FICA is broken up between Social Security and Medicare. Okay, and you can see the rates here on the screen. Uh, it is 6.2% of wages uh, for Social Security, 1.45 for Medicare. Okay, so the employer pays that on top of the wages they pay to the employees. And then when the employee gets their check, they're also gonna be paying into this FICA tax as well, okay? 
So that's one of the taxes, okay? The other ones that you'll pay to, okay? So FICA, our first one, Social Security and Medicaid, Medicare combined. The next one is federal unemployment tax, all right? So you'll be paying 6% of the first $7,000 in wages paid per employee per year, okay? There is a credit you can get back. So at the end of the day, you might probably won't be paying that much. Um, but just so you understand when you're looking at a like a payroll sheet and you're looking at taxes, you're going to see the FICA, <laughs> federal unemployment, and you're also going to see state unemployment. Okay. So you got two forms of unemployment tax. Mm -hmm. In Ohio, that's where I am currently. So when I start a new business, they start off as 2.7%. Mm -hmm. Your starting rate's going to vary depending on your state. Ms. Dominic, do you know what your starting rate is and I don't know our starting rate for PA right off the top. I do want to add two things in there. Um, could you go back to that one slide really quickly just to add on to it as well? Sure. Guys? So I just want to break it down because I know we have a lot of terminology and I'm here to just guide you guys throughout that process to understand payroll as well. So mm -hmm. one of the things I want you guys to understand, whether you are, um, like Mr. Porter says, single member, um, S Corp LLC, one of the things I, in our thoughts, we think like, oh, we're paying into that social security and our Medicare, right? But one of the things that we forget as owners is that that's why it's so important for you yourself to be on payroll because then you're paying into the retirement version of you, right? So you got to look at it in the space of, okay, I'm an owner, I'm an entrepreneur. There is no retirement pot, right? There is no social security check. If you do not begin to cut yourself a payroll check, just like any other employee, just like any other job that you've ever had, when it's all said and done and we close up our doors and go into retirement, where are we doing? Paying under the table is not pouring into that social security pot and Medicare pot for you as the employee. So I just want you to understand that yes, we're paying into it as the employer, but you yourself as the employer can also be on payroll as an employee, especially if your business is set up and switched over to that um, S Corp. And I know that a lot of providers say, oh, well, I'm just an LLC or I'm just a small business. But once you hit that, um, I'm not a text, I'm not a, a, a CPA, but I have a really great several teams of CPAs and they say, once you hit that $80,000 marker in income, you're doing nothing but consistently paying taxes because payroll is 100% tax deductible. So I just want to make sure that that's a crazy benefit in that space of think of yourself as an employee as well, paying into your retirement pot, because that is what happens when, you know, when we get older, that's how they, we collect social security is based off of how much we were making all our years of work, no matter where you worked at with that social security number. So I just wanted to add that in there, um, Mr. Steele, just so that, um, you know, our uh, smaller businesses understand that, yes, we're paying it for the employee. It's annoying. We don't want to pay the overtax, but think of the full scope and how you're helping yourself um, as a business owner for that. I, I know the retirement number keep changing. We, I think, like 67 now because my mom about to be 62. OK, so look at it in that longer space. Mm -hmm. on like, how am I pouring in? How am I getting myself ready for retirement and getting a good Social Security check when it's all said and done from all these years and hours I put into my business? OK, sorry, Mr. Steele. Go ahead. No, that's a great value add. Thank you for adding that. I think there's some things I'll touch on that, you know, payroll is good for your employees and why is it good for you? And I think, you know, you just touched on that perfectly. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Like we said, you'll see these three main payroll taxes, okay, that the employer is responsible for. And one of the things that I've come across working with, you know, startups and, and small businesses is, you know, is, uh, well, I don't really want to pay all those taxes. That's that's a big change from what I'm doing, you know. That's an, that's an additional 15, 16% um, of the wages now that I'm responsible for, right? I'm just going to, I'm just going to call my employees contractors and we'll call it a day. Um, that is a big no-no in the eyes of the IRS. And so I want you all to just to beware. Um, so I want to touch on what the difference is between a W-2 employee and an independent contractor. It is very simple on the IRS website and their legislature. It's very simple. If a 
person um, decides how they work, when they work, then they're a contractor. But if you are given a schedule and your employer provides the means to do the work, you're a W-2 employee. Okay. And for your industry, I've not come across 1099s, <laughs> you know, in the workforce. Um, everyone's a W-2. Okay. So very cut and dry, very simple. Um, and the reason I'm even touching on this is that there are penalties for misclassification of w W-2s and 1099s. So your employees, you want to make sure that they're getting paid. Payroll taxes are being paid so that they are W-2 employees. Okay. So it's, you know, it's a double-edged sword. I know that taxes are not fun. No one wants to pay them. I agree. But to remain compliant, to protect your business, to protect your your cash flow and your money from the IRS throwing penalties on you, okay. it is very important that we are actually having W-2 employees. Do you have anything to add to that, Ms. Dominique? Yes, I want to add in um, the importance of the W-2 and or the, ten, you know, the contractors. I have had 1099 contractor guys, but those are more could be a janitor. Um, that could be maybe a bus driver. Um, that could be someone that probably comes in and maybe cleans your facility, you know, every couple weeks or a couple months, but not the teachers, directors, the people that are there mm -hmm. on a day in and day out basis. It is much more on a tax. We got to look at it in the full space of how am I saving money in my business and from a tax point. Because at the end of the day, our main focus and our main goal, we all love children. But when we get that number from our accountant, like, this is how much we owe. We're like, wait, how can I get that number down again? Right. So, you know, making sure that they're W-2 employees is definitely a way that will save you um, in on those benefits that's there. And the other thing I want to make sure that I add to that you mentioned, Mr. Steele, the unemployment pot. Okay. Um, I want to talk about that because I think that that's very important. It's super beneficial that it comes along with the payroll because if it didn't, I ain't, I wouldn't know who I'm calling, clicking, doing all that. Like, I love that it's just all bundled in. Makes life easier because we're already busy <laughs> doing stuff. But I do want to talk about the unemployment, right? Um, the unemployment pot is something that every time, like Mr. Still laid out, this is how much is being paid into it and all of those things. You want to make sure that, thank you, you want to make sure that the unemployment pot, it, it comes in handy. I'm going to give you guys a great example, right? So when we hit COVID and we can't open for three months because there's no kids or we lost kids or now you are able to open, you have to lay teachers off, right? So if you cannot provide work for them because there's not enough work available, then that's where the unemployment pot, every single time paychecks are cut, Little by little, you're adding into it. I'm going to give you guys a great example. From September through June, my programs are popping, right? They're always going. I'm fully enrolled. When when June hits in the summer, it's a slow season for me. I have 10 employees. I can't, I'm just not going to be having people come in and it's only 10 kids and I got seven staff. I'm overstaffed. So what am I going to do? They can merrily go ahead along and tap into that unemployment pot for eight weeks. And then work is available and they come right back. Instead of me completely letting them go, that is the benefit of pouring into that unemployment pot. Another thing I want to share, and then I'm going to let you go, Mr. Steele, as well, is just the simple fact that think about it in the space of if you've had to let somebody go or, you know, someone you quit or you fired. That's another way. That's another pot of where that money you would be so surprised. Um, we've been open maybe about 20 years, 24 years now going on. And I've had maybe about four or five unemployment claims in the past 10 years. So just imagine that pot, right? The money is there. It's sitting there and it's helpful in the months of the summer months when I barely have children that I can tell my employees, hey, we don't have work available for these eight weeks, right? Why am I going to pay this high wage just for people to sit around? Go ahead and get your unemployment check. Work will return back here. And it's not costing me nothing because all the years, every time I'm paying my AD, my, not just ADP in general, but every time I'm paying my payroll taxes, it's pouring into the unemployment pot. So it helps me in the summer that I can still make the little bit of cash that I am making to cover for my operational costs, but I'm not doomed by losing a good employee just for the three months that it's our off season, okay? So that's like a little bit of benefit of understanding on how putting money into these different pots is super, super beneficial for you in times when you may not 
you know, even realize you need it. Absolutely. You know, that's, these are the taxes that you do have to pay, but, you know, why do they exist? What is the purpose, right? Mm -hmm. So thank you, Ms. Dominique. Mm -hmm. I'm going to jump ahead. So we talked about the taxes, right? We want to avoid penalty, you know, but also like what are the main benefits, right? Like what are some really good things that we get out of payroll? And I, I tell this to all my clients, especially that are startups, you know, how do we help you as entrepreneurs, right? And I think some of the biggest things that we could talk about is proof of income and business credit. Mm -hmm. So proof of income, right? Pay, pay stubs, right? Like how important is a pay stub? You know, especially in a scenario where you go to a bank, your credit union and like, hey, I want to get pre-approved for this, you know, home loan, et cetera. What is the first thing I ask you? Like, do, what, do you have any proof of income? So having those pay stubs available um, to you as a business owner, right? You got to have some form to show some amount of income. And of course, your employees are going to want this as well, right? So we'll produce you pay stubs per payroll and also end of year W-2s as well. And then the other side that we talked about is business credit. So ADP actually reports to credit business bureaus. We do report to Dun & Bradstreet. Um, so when you do business with ADP, we open a trade line and we report, you know, your business with ADP. So having, you know, timely, accurate tax payments that ADP will do for you. And then also, you know, the service fee you pay, pay ADP is going to be a positive effect on your business credit score. So if you want to go through the business, maybe you're looking to acquire a new building um, through the business or equipment, things like that. Like this is a, a nice opportunity to have something that benefits you towards that goal. And I want to add, there, Ms. Yep, I want to add on. So um, I know a lot of times people are like, well, what's a trade line, right? And I ain't going to go too deep because I know business credit be my thing, but I ain't going to go too deep. <laughs> Just want to make sure that as you are growing your business, whether you're in your home, whether you're small, big or large, whatever your size is, a tray line is something that reflects and show business credit is totally separate from personal credit. So we look at our EIN number as if that's our social security. I protect it like it is, right? Our EIN number is almost like our social security number to our business. And so even though you may have great credit in your personal, tray lines are there to show up to show the bank, hey, this person makes payments on time. This person can handle and pay things back. So it's one thing to just have a payroll service, but it's another thing to have that payroll service now show up as a trade line. A trade line is almost like showing up as a credit card or a loan on your business credit profile. And you want to make sure the same way that your personal credit, everybody want that 750, 800 credit score. You want your um, uh, ADEX score to also be just as high because anytime you're getting funding and loaning, it's double what it is. So if somebody, your highest credit limit on your personal credit is 7,000, off the bat, your number is 14,000 on the business credit side. So building your business credit is very, very important, um, you know, just in the space because the goal is ultimately we need operation money. You know, like we don't want to be how are we covering payroll, right? So building your personal credit to be able to open those doors for funding will also help in that space. So I'm glad that that's a twofold um, there still. Absolutely. So that was kind of the meat and potatoes of why payroll, who needs payroll, right? And I want to talk a little bit about what ADP can do for you. So as we start Start to meet if you schedule a personal time with me. These are the things that we can cover, um, you know, and kind of custom tailor what solutions are going to make sense for you. Um, and how is it going to help you accomplish your goals? So, ADP, our small business payroll platform is called Run. Okay, it's online, so you don't have to download it to any computer. You're not stuck to any device. Um, if you are traveling on the go, you can pull up your phone, you can access employee information, um, you can run payroll, there's even an app. So very easy to use technology. The idea behind it is just control, 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 make sure that you, the business owner, have access and ability to do anything you need to um, that's HR related anywhere, anytime. Uh, we do create gross to net payroll, meaning we'll give you very 
transparent information on the wages you pay. And then we'll break it down. We'll show you how much each tax calculation is going to be off of that gross pay. Any deductions, if you do have any retirement plans or insurances being deducted from payroll, you know, that's going to be on the report as well. And then you'll show the net pay, what your employees will get paid after those deductions. So very clear reporting that's available to you. So you'll always have the right information you need um, at all times. The number one biggest benefit, if, if you take anything away from today, that I could say the biggest pro of having a payroll service is that you shift the responsibility to handling the taxes to ADP. Mm -hmm. if, if you think, if you feel confident and you want to handle all your payroll filings, good for you. But that is about 81 touches with the IRS each year. Mm -hmm. I don't know about y'all, but that... That sounds pretty time consuming and pretty intimidating, right? I think you guys went into this business to help kids and make money. And I think handling a lot of this tax jargon, doing the calculations, logging onto this website, making deposits, that's not, it's probably not something that you're interested in. So ADP will properly calculate, deduct and file federal, state and local taxes on your behalf. We'll do all the quarterly reporting that's involved and we'll do the year end reporting for you as well. So it's a huge administrative task that is completely wiped off of your plate. Mm -hmm. so I want to add that something is in there uh, with you still. Um, so we've been, prior to us joining into this partnership guys, we had ADP for almost, I think we're going like nine years now. Um, and one of the biggest things that I love is the screen that you see right here is exactly the screen that's on the dashboard. Um, I think one of the things that we have to understand is so we like I don't know reports. I don't know payroll. So and I'm pretty sure people remember. And I just go back to the pandemic because that's where we are. Right. So so many people were saying like, oh, my gosh, I want to apply for the PPP loan. Right. That's what I want to apply for. I want to get this done. And what happens all that time if you did not have a payroll service in place? you were not getting PPP because what happened at that time? They said, let me see your reports. I literally had to do nothing but log in for verbatim. Literally I had to do nothing but log into my account and they created, all I had to do is click PPP report and everything was generated for me in order for me to get PPP one and PPP two. And not only did it provide the reports for us to get the loans, it also provided the reports when we were done, now you got to say, hey, I really spent this money in PPP the right way. I ain't going to talk about anything else out there in the world, right? But um, now it's time to now say, hey, I really spent this money on payroll. Can you wipe this off? Because that's what PPP was. It was a loan, but it could be forgiven as long as it was done on payroll. And I don't want to have to be like, let me add up. No, I went in, logged into my run report, and I clicked the button. Give me my report from these these past 24 weeks that I said I did payroll, and that's the proof, and the loan was forgiven, okay? So having those reports is something that's super, super um, important when you're thinking about having it, um, getting payroll. The other thing I want to make sure that I add on is I see someone drop down in the comments there in regards to PTO benefits. That's a good one, right? So um, I want to open that up just to say that I'll share with you guys some of the benefits that some of the other services outside of payroll um, that we use with RUN, right? So one of them is um, the concept of PTO, okay? So PTO for us is sick time, part, pay time off, right? And how, ours, how our concept works is every 40 hours a person works, they earn an hour of sick time. Now, how am I going to keep up with me? Like, I can't be doing a cruel. So I love the concept that all I had to do is literally call into my rep. Still was not my rep at the time. But all I had to do was just call into my rep and say, hey, look, every 40 hours that somebody works, I want them to accrue an hour. And I wanted to show up on their pay stub so that they know what their balance is. OK. And when I go to put in the payroll, like when I go to say this is how many hours they work. I can say out of those 40 hours, I'm going to use three hours of their PTO time and it automatically wipes it off for them. Um, I also love this space aside from just using the um, concept of the PTO, another great benefit is 401k, right? So I wanna talk about that. 
Because I think that we forget us as business owners, the same Fortune 500 company that you work for that will offer you a 401k, if you are working every day in your business every day, we should also be having 401k plans. That is pouring into the retirement version of you that we talk about all the time. So how that looks like when it comes to ADP is... Our concept is I'm only doing $25 and I can't go higher than that. They want to match higher than that. All employees are more than welcome to do that. But how it works super easy is we just put in, they're going to take $25 out of their check every time we run the payroll and our company will match them $25. That's a great retention benefit for your employees. And I'm not doing nothing. Or oh, the computer and the ADP payroll system is doing that benefit Definitely for me, because I know I'm matching myself 401k, okay? But it's also doing it for the employees, you know? So I think that that's something really beneficial. And you think like, oh, $25, but you look up. I have plenty of employees that look up. And now they're two years in, they got $2,500, $3,000, $5,000, because it's coming out every single payroll. And that also is a tax benefit for you at the end of the year outside of the payroll cost, okay? So having all of those um, bundle features, including that direct deposit, um, is really, really important to have. And last but not least, you guys can probably see it. It's about the third one over, that little bubble. It's like, you see, it's like all these circles at the top. The third one over says zip recruiter, right? So retention and recruitment. I know we all hate paying for uh, Indeed, because I know y'all know I'm, 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 I'm getting tired of paying for Indeed, right? But one of the great things I do love um, about the ADP payroll system is I get one free job post on ZipRecruiter. I don't got to pay that extra out my pocket, right? So I can log in on my ADP, go into my ZipRecruiter, post the job and get resumes that has nothing to do with my payroll because that's bundled into my package. Um, so there's a lot, a lot of benefits. And the last one, we use them all just because... When it's all on the one house, it makes life easier. But the last one that I want to share is um, workers' comp insurance, okay? So workers' comp insurance is a separate insurance that you should have for your business in case an employee gets hurt in, in your company. And I know we may think like, oh, I, I'm in a house or, oh, I, I don't got that big of a building. ain't going to happen to me. And I thought the same thing, y'all. Ain't going to happen to me. And so like can good fell on one of my employees' toes. That's an injury. Right. If somebody's trying to pull up bulletin board paper and they say, oh, my back, we got a problem. Right. These are real life scenarios that can go on, whether you have a super large facility and or small and you want to make sure that you're protected. So when that can good fell on someone's um, foot, I didn't need to do nothing but simply just contact my um, workers comp rep. They provided the employee. They provided the entire process to go through to file that worker's claim, providing them their um, going to the doctors, making sure that they're really getting PT and all of those things, all of those supports. Um, you know, that's something that is really, really important, um, you know, to have in your business. So do you have to maximize all of them? No, because some of them are bundled, some of them are more, but it is a really great space to be like, okay, I can post a job for free. That's a part of my package. I can make sure I get 401ks so I can grow for myself as the owner, no matter whether I got five employees or under, right? Um, also making sure that the taxes are being paid um, and that it's user-friendly. Just this year alone, um, and I will be honest, so my husband's a barber and he's like, nah, I don't want no payroll, it's just me. I'm like, oh no, we getting payroll. You wanna know why? And he's a single member, LLC. And the reason why we got payroll is because, again, once you go past that like $80,000 marker, if your goal is to grow and your goal is to show income in your business, you need to be documenting it. OK, and just this year alone, when we just met with our accountant to look at what these projections are about to be, we say we doubled income. Right. Because we switched from an LLC to an S corp. Right. That's the switch. And then when you switch from an LLC to an S Corp, then you as the owner are allowed to put yourself on payroll. And from doing that one switch, we save 15% in taxes in one year. So basically paid less in taxes, but still made more money. Okay, so think of your business in the full scope. If you are a provider that's looking to expand your business, maybe get another location or just expand your current home where you are or get a building, do start things outright the first time because it's really hard to tell employees, hey, look, 
I'm paying you under the table and then I'm trying to do things the right way. And they're like, wait, no, that tax is going to eat my money up. But it's eating your money up at the end of the year when you're not getting the credit for it um, on your taxes with your accountant. Well said. <laughs> all right. I just wanted like to a, add that like in there a, because these are like all the little uh, details that are so important. Oh, spoken like a true seasoned vet, you know, like not even just in your industry, but also like very knowledgeable of ADP services. So appreciate that. I think the theme is is automation, you know, relying on technology to take a lot of the complicated work off of your plate, right? You know, instead of getting bogged down with tons of administration, trying to figure out who do I go to for this? Who do I call for that? You know, understanding that ADP is your go-to one-stop shop to handle all of that, that HR background work, right? So absolutely 100%, you know, we got, we got the PTO question, um, just to make sure that like your questions answered, we do help you set that PTO plan up during implementation. So, you know, that just, again, like Ms. Dominique said, that's a an automatic process that's happening in the background, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'll kind of touch on some of the other things real quick that Ms. Dominique had mentioned here. Um, we do have several payroll packages available. Um, and when we meet personally, we can talk about how much HR support, you know, you want to start off with. If you want to start smaller, start bigger and then switch, there's, you know, that's a completely custom conversation for you. Um, but just, again, the basics. Obviously, we're going to take care of all the payroll tax filing. Um, employee access is a really nice feature for you all. Um, your employees can download an app, create a, a login, and they can get their pay stubs right from their phone. They don't got to come to you and ask you, hey, can you print this off for me? You know, can you get this for me? That is right there. If you have a retirement plan in place, they can look at their balance right on the app. If you have a time clock through us, they can clock in, they can clock out. So, it really becomes a great experience for them as well because they're like, wow, my employer is, is serious about this and they have invested in technology. They've created a great experience for me as an employee. Um, and then some of the HR features that we'll talk about a bit, um, you know, we have a dedicated helpline of STRM certified individuals. You know, these people are HR certified for 15 plus years of experience. They can help you out with certain things. Um, you know, we do employee handbooks, we offer background checks, Ms. Dominique mentioned we do ZipRecruiter. So lots of features that can be impactful in a lot of different facets for your business. I want to add in there still, you had something that was really, really great on the previous slide. Um, I want to add in there, I think sometimes we do get a little like, well, how often am I going to pay people, right? Like, oh, every week, woof, I don't even know if I can handle uh Pay your people tomorrow, okay? So I want to add in there the flexibility of the schedule. So on average, when most people are doing payroll services, guys, we're either paying weekly, but we know us in the industry, that's not happening. Um, typically, on average, most people are either bi-weekly or semi-monthly or monthly, okay? And I love the flexibility of that. I, myself, as a childcare provider, we are semi-monthly. Why are we semi-monthly? Because there's a lot of weeks that have five weeks in there. That means I have to pay people three times every other Friday, okay? And most of us as childcare providers, we're either being paid weekly, bi-weekly, or a month after if we're getting that state you know, funding and or subsidy. So having a semi-monthly pay period, either the 1st or the 15th, and or the 16th or the 30th in your business is really, really helpful with the flexible um, options. I will say even just having direct deposit, um, I was one of those people like, oh, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. But y'all, I let my guard down like, look, we get these deposits and it makes life so much more easier. Um, I think it's a really great feeling for people to wake up and come into your business on a Friday and they're already paid. Um, you know, I know it's like it, it, I was so against it because I wanted to physically sign checks. But the more that you grow your business, people are happy on Fridays, um, you know, and that's just the the bottom line. Um, you know, so I think that having those things in there um, is really, really important. And also plenty of times you will see, like he said, employees having the access instead of saying, hey, can you give me my pay stuff? Can you fill this paper out? Because I need them to sign off for this for welfare or do this for that. They have access to all of their pay stubs um, right there and they can see their year to date and they can also see um, their PTO accrual time. So I think that that's something that's really, really 
um, you know, important to understand just when it comes to having a payroll service and what this is what's considered full service. And I want to make a really great point, guys, just that, yes, I've seen payroll companies that are much more cheaper. And what happens? They're not filing the taxes. And what happens at the end of the year, you get a crazy tax bill from your, your person that says, um, you know, oh, you owe this much in taxes. You're like, wait, I thought they was paying it. That's because, yes, I always say cheap is expensive and expensive is cheap. You know, so just look at it in the space of having a full service company that is the number one payroll solution is really, really, um, you know, important because I'm one of those people. I go off reputation. You know, like there's just because it's cheaper, it doesn't always mean that it's better. Um, you want to make sure that you understand and you want to make sure that you have those supports. And while I say before I had ADP, yes, I've been through them all. I've been through plenty of other payroll services. But what I find is that I'm just I need things done timely. I need support and I need accessibility no matter where I'm at. If I got to run payroll today, I need to be able to do it on my phone. Right. If I need to be able to check my teacher's timesheets, they can clock in and use the timesheet feature within uh, Run ADP. You know, so you want to make sure that it's convenient. You want to make sure that you have accessibility and you want to make sure that it's user friendly um, when you're thinking about payroll solutions and payroll services. hundred oh, percent. Um, Aisha, I did see your question. Is the PTO um, an additional cost? No, it is not. So we will help you do that um, standard with account setup. Um, and then to touch on, on um, where it says multiple pay options, y'all, like direct deposit, checks, you know, like we can we can send ADP checks for you. You don't even have to cut your own checks. Um, we even have options if employees don't have bank accounts and they don't want checks, they can get the um, prepaid cards as well. And that's all complimentary. So you just choose what works best for each employee and we will provide payment that way. So, but thank you for that, Ms. Dominique. Mm -hmm. All right. So just I'll quickly touch on some of the HR features, um, just so you, you know y'all can understand a little bit about what that what that even is. Um, so one example is job descriptions. Um, you can I'm sure you have a good idea of what that is to you, but you know how would you feel if you were in a situation where you had a dispute with an employee because you were asking them to do something, and they claim that was not on the job description, right? Like you're gonna want that proof in writing that, hey, yes, it was, right? And so how do you know you've detailed everything uh, and you've included, you know, enough to be legally compliant for that job description? Instead of going to different websites on Google, piecing, you know, piecing information together, we provide that to you. This information has been reviewed by HR professionals. So we have over 450 templates for the job summary, accountabilities, qualifications, and competencies so you can go into the system, you know, find the industry and the specific title you want and get it right from there. And then you take that and you can go post it right on ZipRecruiter, right? Mm -hmm. ZipRecruiter is going to post to over 100 job boards so you can have one solution that will spread your job post like wildfire, okay? The great thing about ZipRecruiter is it gives you the option to do like a thumbs up, thumbs down for candidates that come to your inbox. So you like this person's resume, thumbs up. You think this person is not qualified and their resume is pretty bad, thumbs down. And then the ZipRecruiter uh, you know, algorithm is gonna work for you. It's gonna start feeding you more resumes of what you like and what you deem qualified to, to work for your business. So that'll help you see qualified candidates faster and get closer to hiring uh, as soon as possible. There's some other features um, in the HR Pro Help Desk. Um, one that I would like to touch on is the employee handbook. Typical process for a handbook, you gotta find an attorney, pay them 500 bucks or so, they'll crap you up a handbook and that it's relevant for that year, okay? Then 2024 rolls through and you're like, okay, what new laws passed? Call the attorney, go back, figure it out. Uh, our electronic version, we give you um, all the most recent legislation included already. So you don't have to go and hunt down that information. We let you customize it. You can slap your logo on there. You can include values, mission statement, uh, you know, any cultural pieces you want to include, but the legal stuff already taken care of. Once you complete it, employees can electronically sign off on it saying, hey, I've seen this. And then you're good. This is another thing that is going to protect you 
legally. You have things in writing that clearly, you know, are going to lay out the laws of the land. If there's a new law that passes, ADP is just going to update the book for you. And then employees will get an email and say, hey, this changed, click to acknowledge. And now you've got receipts that everyone's seen it. Very nice feature. Okay. Background checks is another feature. You can get five, you can get 25, depending on your package. Here's some of the reports that we include. Deathmaster report, seven-year criminal history. Y'all might need more you know, intricate background checks, depending on where you are and what you're looking for. So, you know, we could discuss this in person if this is going to satisfy you, but this is an option that we will pay for these background checks for you. And then this one is, is kind of fun. Uh, at ADP, like employees, we get discounts on things, um, you know, different insurances, phone bills, uh, like you see, like home, food and home delivery, uh, streaming services. We've actually extended that to our clients. So you can give this to all your employees as well. So this is a benefit where they can go and get discounts on the things that they're already buying all the time. So it's a nice feature. It makes you, um, it just shines a positive light on you, makes you a little stickier in your employment. The employee thinks, hey, like my, my employer is doing this for me. Like who else is doing this? Like, why would I go work for so-and-so down the street when I know so-and-so is taking care of me here? Mm -hmm. And that kind of piggies back off what Ms. Dominique said, that idea of, you know, what are you doing to stand out from your competition? And, you know, how are you taking care of your employees? Obviously, people want competitive pay, but what's the next most important thing? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And I, I love to share that um, I think that we can't compete with a lot of different child care programs because every industry and every demographic is different. Um, you know, for me, for a while, I was like, uh, I probably can't really afford to provide medical insurance, right? Thank God we are. But prior to us being able to do that, um, I will match somebody and pay $25 into their 401k because 401k, when an employee knows that they have 401k, that means I'm looking for you to be with me for the long term. Right. So if I can provide you 401k, $25 match, every time you get paid, I'm committed to you. You're committed to me. If I can also provide you a direct deposit so you can get your money like this on a Friday instead of having waiting for your check to clear on Monday, that's another great benefit. Um, you know, these are simple, simple and small. Um, you know, if I can give you an accrual, it doesn't have to be every 40 hours you work, you earn an hour. It could be every 80 hours you work, you earn an hour. But if I can give you some form of PTO within your time, these are simple, um, you know, benefits that you can offer your employees are wrapped into one, you know, bundle that can help with the retention. We can't choose the pay because we already know us as educators, we're all underpaid. I'm going to just say that for us. Okay. We are definitely underpaid, just <laughs> us as ed educators, um, you know, and it's an emotional labor. But what can I do if I cannot, if I cannot compete with the wage, how else can I provide that re support for retention outside of the classroom as an employee benefit? Um, I think that's one of the biggest things to consider and or think about. And I think another big thing to think about is don't forget yourself. Um, I think we think that payroll is only just for like, oh, I have an employee, let me pay them. But again, if you are not paying yourself as an employee on the books and you're at that daycare day in and day out, where are you getting a social security check from at that when it's all said and done? Where are you getting a 401k at when it's all said and done, right? We got to think long-term and we have to think ownership, you know? So yes, I'm making money, but you have to think for the long-term, you know, version of yourself when it comes to that. I know, I know that you guys know a mom, a grandpa, a aunt that are living check the check on the social security check. I don't want to be that person. We don't want to be that person. That is the reason why we become entrepreneurs to create that freedom so that I don't gotta wait for a social security to say, hey, you know what? You're finally 75. Now you can go ahead in and retire and here's your $600 check a month. No, I'm not waiting for that, right? So yes, I'm gonna be waiting for that check to hit, but I have other things in other pots that I'm creating while I'm in my business as that entrepreneur putting in those 12, 13, 14 hours, you know, it really is important. I didn't have that thought process. We didn't have that thought process. You know, we thought that payroll was only just for employees. But once we started maximizing it for us as the owner, I was like, oh no, I would I would never not not have a 401k for myself. You deserve it, 
right? And if I can give myself a 401k, $25 and a company matches $25, that's a business expense. I'm pouring into my retirement version to have an extra set of pot of money, you know, for myself. And it's a tax write-off because paying for uh, benefits, insurance benefits, medical benefits, and payroll are literally almost 95% to 100% tax write-offs. And when I say tax write-offs, I simply mean, and I'm going to break it down just really simple, Mr. Steele, because then I know we got to respect your time. Um, here's a great example, right? If you guys, and I'm, I made this earlier, but I see some other people came in here. If you guys made, let's say, $75,000 for the year gross, okay? That's all the money that all your parents have paid, $75,000 for the year. I can guarantee we put a couple co-payments in this pocket. I can guarantee that you go to the bank and pull out a 1000 to pay your own personal bills. All those thousands and all those 500s and all the grandma under the table and all that your cousin can't get cut off of welfare and all these reasons why you feel like that you can't pay payroll are really st stunning your growth in your business. You're still going to pay out that same $10,000, $15,000 to yourself and or to part-time employees or whatever your, your business and how it's laid out. You still got to pay the money out. So if I made, what did I say? $75,000, I'm now not worrying about paying taxes on the 75 if i paid out and i'm gonna keep the number short because y'all know my dyslexia be crazy if i paid out seventy five thousand dollars, if i made seventy five thousand dollars, and every couple time i've been pulling a thousand pulling 500 that 75 now drops down to whatever you paid in payroll so you're now let's say it was ten thousand dollars you paid in payroll for the year that's a starter point you're not paying taxes on seventy five thousand dollars. that's 75 instantly becomes 65 because payroll is a hundred percent tax deductible, right? Not like gas, gas. I don't care whether you drove from here to California. You still only going to get a small percentage. I don't care whether you bought meals or entertainment. You still going to get a small percentage on taxes, but payroll is a hundred percent. So that's 75 now becomes, if you spent 10,000, $65,000. Okay. It's an automatic wipe off. And that is the biggest benefit. Then you start how much gas, how much uniforms, how much supplies, and working your 65 down. So don't shortchange yourself by not wanting to pay taxes for your employees all throughout the year because it really is the full scope of your business. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, I think even more tax write-offs are available that I'll touch on briefly here uh, extend to payroll extends to retirement um so i can share that with y'all here um retirement plan options though you don't have to read any of this like you know if you are actually ready to start one we'll explain the differences but there are different options different costs contribution limits and that education can come at a later time but just want y'all to know that there are different options one thing that applies to all of them though is that there are major tax credits available okay the irs this year passed the secure act 2.0 what that means is that, hey, you, the money that costs you to have a plan in place, you can get it back. There's two major costs when you have a retirement plan. There's the cost to have it in place, okay, what you would pay ADP, and then the cost to match into your employees' plans, okay? You can get up to 100% of the admin costs back for the first three years. So whatever that is, you'll see it again. And then... When you're matching an employee, you can get up to $1,000 back per employee. And for the wages that you're probably paying your employees, if you look at an annual basis, that $1,000 is going to cover everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's never been cheaper. It's never been more affordable. You know, over the course of a year, you're going to see that money back. Okay, so huge, huge advantage. Retirement plans this year have been a no-brainer for a lot of businesses that we've been working with because the IRS is really pushing to have them in place. They're going to be mandated soon. I know states like California, Colorado, Illinois, a few others have already mandated this. So, um, you know, I would check with your state, see if that's on the horizon or, you know, or maybe it's not, but I know in Ohio it's coming soon where I am. So, you know, we and can I be prepared, be ready for it. I want to add something in still there. So where you guys see that, that slide's right there, fine. Aside from the uh, tax credits, there's something that went off in my mind because this is something that we're working on. 
you might, you guys really want to ask your accountant about something called a WOTC credit. Okay. And that WOTC credit is another thing. ADP is the one, my accountant is the one that put me onto it, but ADP is the people that are helping me get it and outsource it in the marketplace. Um, and what WOTC credit is, is if you're hiring people that are formerly incarcerated, if you're hiring people that are on welfare or have any of these lower income based stipulations, right, then you're able to get a credit back, which is that thousand dollars up to per employee, not that particular one he's talking about. This is something separate, um, but I'm just giving you that uh, benefit so that you guys understand the help. Right. When I heard about WOTC credit, I'm like, I didn't hire four people in the past four weeks. I should have, you know, but you got to have these systems already in place before you actually hire them. OK, so it's really important to learn, you know, and understand payroll and tax benefits and tax credits, because um, that's really where it helps you at the end of, at the end of the year. I do want to open up the floor still. Um, just for any questions. And I also want to make sure before we wrap it up that I share um, all of the November specials because I did have a slide for that. Yeah, sure thing. So there's, you know, retirement, there's health, we can do medical, dental, vision, et cetera. Um, we do timekeeping options, like we mentioned. So just quick review, I just want y'all to understand. It's a one-stop shop for everything you can need, payroll, tax, HR, benefits related. Okay, let us handle your payroll taxes. You know, there's no reason for y'all to be doing that. It's It sucks. It's a pain. It can get you in trouble. And then we have a ton of easy solutions for y'all. Um, and then lastly, I want to just make sure you know that um, Ms. Dominique was able to secure a discount for you all. So automatically off the rip, you get a 20% discount on ADP services. So work with me. I'll make sure you get that discount. Um, and that is a lifetime discount that never goes away. This isn't just like, oh, first three months. This is your lifetime as an ADP client. And then Ms. Dominique also did mention promotions. So in the month of November uh, for our payroll services, we're actually offering um, different variations. Do you have a graphic for that? Ms. Yep, Dominique? I have it. Yep, hold on one okay. second. Okay. Go ahead in and um, I can share my screen. So okay. One cool. second. Right. Let me go back to Zoom. I'm already got the number one. Let's see. So let's see, can I share my screen? Okay. All right, guys, so this is the November promos. Can you see it up there? Let me know if you guys can see it because sometimes it'd be a little delayed. Can you guys see my I screen? See it. You see it? Okay. Um, so these I are the promos. Okay. You can go ahead in and um, explain it, but that was all the breakdown stuff that you sent me. Yep, so if you already have employees um, and you have a payroll system in place, we're offering six months free right now. Um, so if you don't have a payroll system, but you have five employees, three months free. And then if it's under five employees um, and then maybe you have payroll or maybe you've never had payroll, but if you have under five employees, we have two months free. So right now we have something for everyone. Uh, we'll get you a couple months free. That 20% uh, percent discount is applicable to all the months that you do have to pay ADP. So just trying to you know lower the cost and get you guys, you know, just something that will you know, ease the transition into having a payroll service. So you can take a picture of that. Uh, once you, you know, meet with me, we'll make sure that you get the right one, uh, get you that discount and you'll be good to go. I think I do have a question up here. Someone had, if you could see it in the chat, I think I see. Um, someone said, I'm already a customer, but wanted to learn more about other services. When you say other services, what, what do you mean, Kitty Cloud? So you're already an ADP customer, right? She'll drop that back down there in the chat. Um, so I want to show you guys where you could head over um, and feel free. If you have questions, unmute yourself, cut your camera on, introduce yourself. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to just unmute yourself and come off mute. You don't have to keep it in the chat. Um, and I did want to express where it is, where I think um, Mr. Steele shared is that you have those five employees. If you already have the six months is if you have five employees and you're with another competitor, right? So if you're with Paychex, Gusto, 
any other payroll um, provider service, you'll get those six months for free. And then the months that are not free, that's where the uh, Educated Minds and ADP partnership come in. You get the 20% discount for a lifetime. So I want to make sure that I'm clear on that just so that people say, well, how much is it going to cost? What is ADP? That is why you really need to do a consultation because it's based off your individual um, you know, circumstances based off of how many employees you specifically have, uh, where you're at, where your state is at, and all those different things. So I want to share, is that right, uh, Mr. Steele? I want to make sure I shared that right. Was that, can you repeat the last part? Yeah, so I was expressing oh. people, people might say, okay, well, how much does it cost exactly for payroll? Like, how much is it going to cost me? And one of the things I shared is mm. that it's individual. The 20% is standard, the six months is standard, the three mm. months, yeah. which is the one you fall under. But your price and how much you pay for your actual payroll services every time mm. you run it is individual to your business based on where you're located at and also based on how many employees you have in your business. Okay, so I yeah. want to. What, what I would to say is is three main things that determine price. It's how many employees you have, how often you pay pay those employees, and what level of HR support do you need at the time. So that will determine what package we get you on, and then you'll see how the, there's a base price, there's a per employee price. I'll be able to give you all those numbers when we meet personally. All right. Awesome. And then um, I want to share my screen here, guys, so I can show you where um, if you want to just see what your things will look like. So I'm trying to share my screen here. All right, let's see. So I think this will be here. So you guys can head over directly to the um, educatedminds.com website and you can click right on where it says ADP payroll and scroll all the way down to the bottom once it pops up. And that is where you can fill out your actual form right here, um, where you can then schedule a meeting. Because you have like an online scheduler, don't you, still? Yep. Yeah. yeah, you guys fill this part out. So just give me some basic information about your email, uh, company name, employees. Um, and then I will respond with an email and a phone call if I don't hear from you. And then we can schedule a time that works best for you. All right, awesome, awesome. I want to open up the floor. Um, if you guys have any questions, someone say, I guess, want to know what other services from ADP offers. Okay. Yep. So you're more than welcome to jump in, um, Kitty Cloud, for your specific uh, location, since you are already a customer, um, and fill out that form that's listed there on the Educated Minds website. I'll drop the link in here for you guys, um, just so you can have it. And if you guys yeah. have any other questions, um, you can unmute yourself and just ask. Yeah, to Kitty Cloud Academy, appreciate, uh, glad you're with us. Um, you know, unfortunately, we couldn't do anything on the payroll side, but if there are other services that you feel like would be useful to you. We could definitely talk about, you know, getting that discount um, applied to other services um, and making sure that you're taken care of. All right, awesome, awesome. I do want, I dropped the link in the chat there, guys. I will try to upload this replay on our page there um, so that you guys can have it. I do want to give a huge thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Still, for coming on after hours um, and giving us the knowledge and just the information in regards to payroll um, that there is. And again, if you guys have any questions, fill out that form and Mr. Still will answer any questions relevant to your specific business because I know everything is case by case. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm glad we could be here. Everyone who you know took the time this evening to come on the call, appreciate you. Um, and yeah, feel free to reach out to me and we'll connect and make sure we have a game plan for you, okay? Awesome. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Have a good evening, guys. All right. Thanks.